Hey, gun people! Well, not gun people in Canada because most citizens aren't allowed to have guns in Canada. I know you can have them if you want to go shooting and if they're locked up and if you can only have one bullet, whatever. Uh, and I know the smart Canadians know that it was a mistake to give up their right, but they did. And they were told they would be safe and that nobody would be hurt. And now 17 dead because a guy that they're not releasing. And of course, you'll never know this guy's motive because especially if his motive has public support or public sentiment. If the public can get behind this message, it'll be squashed. Kind of like the most censored shooting in the history of the world that if you even say it on YouTube, you get banned. So, uh, because they didn't want his message out. They didn't want his video out. They didn't want his uh, uh, speaking out because people might say, you know what? Ain't no wonder he flipped. So maybe this guy had a good reason. Rick, there's no good reason to kill somebody. Government kills people every day. Are their reasons not good? Well, that's different. Government can kill people because they're trying to protect you. Oh, okay, I get it. So anyway, um, 17 confirmed dead. Look at that big old truck they got. You would think in a country to where nobody's allowed to have guns, they wouldn't need a gunship like a military vehicle with an automatic weapon and a, a hood to protect them if everybody was safe because only government had guns. I don't get it. Rick, you, you don't understand. There's a lot of... All right, whatever. So here's the woman that died. I don't know why they don't show a current picture. Uh, this picture's five years old, I guess. But she got killed supposedly responding. Again, no information on what she did. Maybe she needed more training. Maybe she walked right up to the guy and got shot. Maybe she didn't have a gun. Maybe she shouldn't have went. Maybe she did something she didn't spo supposed to do, and that's why she's dead. No, no, Rick. We can't know any of that. All we know is that she's a hero, and she was killed, and they did a little press release. Defending and saving the public. And she's got two kids, of course, so that means that she couldn't have done anything wrong. Because if you say somebody did something wrong and they're a mother with kids, then it's bad. Maybe she shouldn't have been a cop. Maybe other cops said that she shouldn't have been hired and that she wasn't a very good cop. Won't know any of that. Can't say any of that. I'm not saying that's true. I'm just saying truth is something that is usually hidden when we're trying to push the levels, the, the liberal social agenda of we got to have more women police. They're just as good as men. And only one cop got killed, 17 people killed, and it happened to be a female. Coincidence? I don't know. Hit fan butts of coconuts. So, of course, they're all in here. So here's the big thing about government failure again. Key moments. This is at 11.30 p.m. They didn't get the guy for 12 hours later. But, Rick, Canada has a lot of government, and they tell people are safe, and you're much safer in Canada, and if we didn't have guns, they'd be even safer. Okay, whatever. Saturday, 11.30 p.m., they're responding to a firearms complaint. Shortly after, still 11.30, I'm not sure how this can be after. This is 11.32 and this is 11.30. I would think this one would be first. But anyway, I digress. They get report of three house fires. Now, they still haven't said whether the shooter started the fires. But from a tactic standpoint, if you want to get the firemen out there, you start a house fire and then the firemen will come and you won't get a large police response, you'll get a large farmer response. Uh, I don't know if all the cops carry guns in Canada or not. I'm not that familiar with it. Uh, at 8 a.m., we go from 11.30 p.m. to 8 a.m. What the hell happened in between here? I mean, shit, this is almost nine hours later. What the hell happened in these nine hours? Where Rick government was out there protecting and serving us, and, and then they told us to lock down, and they told us to hide in our house, and they told us we didn't need a gun because they have guns and they're going to protect us. Okay, more government failure. We have eight, nine hours unaccounted for. At 8 a.m., the Mounties said the situation involves an active shooter. It took them nine hours to figure that out. 45 minutes later, police identify the suspect as 51-year-old Gabriel Wartman, who is considered armed and dangerous. Several victims are reported. So this is what, now we're 10 hours later. Well, we're, we're at 10 o'clock. From 10 to 11, he's seen driving in several communities. So what, what the hell are the cops doing while he's driving around for the last nine hours in several communities? Rick, 
they're the government, they're there to help, and you should love, and they're risking their life, and a woman died, and, and she was trying to save us. Okay, whatever. Keep believing what they're being told. Uh, he's wearing what looks like a RCMP uniform. Was that Royal County Mountie Police? Don't even freaking ride horses anymore. Anyway, uh, at 1135, the Mounties said the man is not employed with R. How do they know that? Well, they probably checked his name and said he's not employed, but I don't know how they got his name. They're not saying how they got his name and confirmed that was him. But he may be wearing uh, RCMP uniform. We're 12 hours later. This guy has supposedly shot people, drove around the neighborhood, and set fires. 12 hours later. And the cops are still putting out information about how they're protecting and serving you. Man, I thought our government was incompetent. Canada, and you got more government. You're more social left-wing than we are. Rick, that's not true. Canadian is a great... I had some Canadian come in here the other day. I would never go to America. You guys all have guns. It's dangerous. Okay. Well, good. It doesn't look very dangerous there. Guy driving around shooting, burning up homes for 12 hours. Oh, yeah, you're a lot safer. Whoever left that comment, I'm sure you're a lot safer in Canada. Okay, uh, 1140. He's taken into custody. So that was 12 hours later by the police. They say taken into custody, but I can't tell if he's dead or alive. They're not saying whether he's dead or alive. They won't confirm how many victims. Why not? Well, uh, Rick, they're the government, and they're busy, and they're, they're protecting and serving us. Okay, now we're two more hours later. The premier calls an incident the most senseless act of violence in our province history. Oh, man, that's a great statement. Thirteen hours later. Okay, 45 minutes later, CBC learns Multiple people, including workmen, and at least one RPM RCMP officer is dead. And at 445, the National Police Federation, who the hell, the National Police Federation, are they over the RCMP or are they, does the RCMP work for them? I'm sure it's just more government redundancy to protect and serve the shit out of you pesky citizens. Uh, the National confirms RCMP member is dead and another is injured. So another man got shot in the leg. He didn't get killed. He just got shot in the leg. Well, why did he kill the woman and not the man, Rick? Well, maybe the woman didn't have tactics. Maybe she wasn't prepared. Maybe she did something wrong, and that's why she's dead and he isn't. Rick, you can't say that. You don't know. You're right. I don't know. Only the government knows. And then only they get to tell us what they want us to know. Now, at 6 p.m., RCMP says at least 10 people are dead. But I thought the article said 17. RCMP, 17 confirmed dead. Look, I don't know why the guy did it. I don't know what happened. I don't know what, what pushed him over the edge. My guess is it probably had something to do with taxes, government failure, uh, woman, money, uh, or mental illness, or drugs. Because those are usually how these things happen. Uh, I wonder what kind of gun he used, where he got the gun with all the good gun control. I wonder how they're going to blame it, the gun. Uh, maybe this is one of the guns that the Obama administration was selling to illegal cartel members and we're allowing them to go across the border. Maybe it's one of those guns. You think we'll find that out if that's true? Of course not. All right. I, I, everybody's been commenting on it. I figured I'd just do a little thing on the shooting in safe Canada where guns are outlawed and people aren't allowed. People are victims and they're not allowed to have guns because they have a whole lot of government protecting the shit out of them for freaking 13 hours while the guy drives around, set fires and everything. Man, got to feel safe. Hell, I want to feel safe. I might move to Canada so I can feel safe. All right, we'll end that there.